You can access game objects and their components via code. This makes Unity very flexible and very customizable for creating games. In order to access a game object, you can make it public and assign it in the inspector. See the following demonstration. I've created a cube game object, and I want to make this object recognizable within the code. So I will double click on this script which I've already made, which I've already created, but now I want to add some functionality. So I will use the public keyword and say public. Next I'll follow it by the type of object, which is a game object, and then I'll say cube. Now there's a few things to note here. We're making we're using a we're making this a public variable so that we can add this in the inspector. Anytime you make a public game a public variable of type game object, there will be a space in the inspector where you can drag the game object so that the code automatically has an attachment to the instance of the game object that you wish to reference within your code. Now, if that doesn't make sense, that's okay because once I show you the following demonstration, it'll be a lot clearer. Now, cube here is any arbitrary name that we choose to give to our variable of the game object. I don't have to call this cube. In fact, I could call it sphere, trapezoid, anything else that I want to call it. It doesn't even have to match the name I've given it. It doesn't have to make any sense. It just has to be some sort of name and every time the computer sees this name, it will automatically replace it with the instance of this game object and it will understand that everything it's doing is to this game object. I'm going to close this script out and I'm going to actually save and quit for mono develop. Because now you'll see here that um, if I take this script and I click and drag it and I want to attach it to the main camera by dragging and dropping it to the main camera, I now have script 1 attached to my main camera. And actually we could remove this script 2 here. That was from an earlier tutorial so as not to confuse anybody. So we have script 1 here and you'll notice that there's another area now that says cube and then none uh, and then in parentheses game object. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to simply click the cube and we're going to drag it to this space here. Now an attachment uh, within the code has been recognized that when we reference the cube, we're referencing this instance of the cube here. Now alternatively, we could reference this game object by using a tag. See as follows. So we click this cube here and currently it's untagged we could now go to add tag. We would hit this plus to create a new tag and we're going to call this cube. Now we have a tag cube. We're going to go back to our cube and select it and we'll notice that it's still not tagged. That's because we only created the tag, we now have to assign it. Now that the cube has been assigned this tag, we can go into script 2. Where we will use the tag to access this component. So now we're just going to say game object. So we're not making it public. We're not saying that it's public uh, specifically here. In fact, we're going to say private game object cube. And then we're going to say in our start function where we initialize the variables or link them uh, to whatever instance we want to link them to and give them whatever default value we want to give them. We're going to say cube equals game object dot find game object with tag. Now we're going to pass this a string argument of the tag that we want and we're going to say here that it's cube. So you'll notice here that we said game object which then called upon this function find game object with tag and then we provided it with the tag name in quotation marks within parentheses here and we ended the line with a semicolon. Now if you're new to computer science and programming that's totally fine. Future tutorials will break down the syntax easily for you. But for now, just understand that we're referencing this cube. We're making a reference within our script that can be used at later points in our script, naming it cube, and then we're calling find game objects with tag in order to find the cube game object or the game object that we've given the cube tag to. So this does the same thing as making the game object public and then linking it up does.